Welcome, welcome, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your humble host, Rufio the Wolf. This is the Wolf Den. This is the day after. The day after an amazing bout between two colossal fighters in the sport of boxing, Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia. I was able to attend. I had a blast. There's a lot of people there. There's a lot of celebrities there, but that's not uncommon in the city of Las Vegas. These two titans in the sport went at it, and it was amazing. Ryan Garcia in the first was just swinging. He was landing two. It seemed like Gervonta Davis was reading what he had going on and eventually ended up taking him out in the seventh round, I believe, with a body shot. And oh man, and overall, we got to see a spectacle of two amazing athletes go at it. And I love my city. <laughs> Enough being said. But again, it's a beautiful morning in Las Vegas and I wanted to switch things up. I wanna get out of my comfort zone. I wanna do something different. And I was feeling like a morning like this, I wanted some epic, beautiful rock type vibe. And obviously I'm building this catalog. So I do wanna step out of my comfort zone and make things I don't traditionally make. I feel that if I'm an amateur producer, I should push myself to the limit. And a lot of that is getting out of your comfort zone and doing music that you don't traditionally do. And I don't wanna be stuck in a box of just one genre of creation. I wanna do all genres if I can. So hopefully we can do that today. Let's see what we got going on. So I have Logic Pro pulled up and I found a sample that I'm digging. It's at BPMs of 147, so it's a little fast, but it sounds like this originally. I gotta slow it down a bit. So in Logic, you're gonna click it, you're gonna go to flex pitch, this guy right here, and then you'll go up on top and you can bring that down a little bit. We'll do 140, a nice even number, and see what it sounds like. Oh, I'm liking that. So what we'll do is shape it a little bit i'm going to add some of my new presets from lander go check them out i just got the sweet package um it comes with five different plugins that are really just plug and play and they're amazing and i'll let you check them out now lander you really hit it out the park for this for producers like myself who are just getting into the game man these plugins are amazing they're easy to use they are innovative and you can use all of them for different situations even vocals there's one specific for vocals but i've been using the electric for vocals just to kind of get a different range and a different experience and i think we're gonna start with the acoustic look at that beautiful pastel color lander is amazing go check them out they really hit it out the park man it's just three knobs man you have the blend to pull it in at 100 you can bring it all the way uh, input knob and an output knob. Let's listen to it without it. With it. Let's explore a little bit and see what we can do. I like the body cut. And the beauty is you can stack them on top of each other as many times as you want to get a different kind of vibe every single time. And it's super user friendly. Man, I'm best $99 I spent for a plugin. I'll say it. I'll say it right now. There's going to be a lot of pro producers out there being like, you can do it yourself with the stock plugins. And I'm going to be like, hey, man, listen, listen, if you if you got it, you got it. Don't hate. Remember the days when you had to manually EQ? Those days are gone. Uh, I think I might take it down an octave. Why not? Options down. Let's brighten it up with some more Lander plugins. I like 
that the air effect in the EQ. Now that I have that pitch bended, I'm going to bounce it into place. A little bit of fade tool, speed up. Make it even more lo-fi. Let's add a tremolo to that beginning. Electric baby. Watch what we're about to do. So now that I have all the tremolos set to where I want them, I'm going to bounce them into a single bar. Remember I said, now that I'm bouncing them, it's its own wave. I can add more. Beautiful. This is one that's designed for drums, but I'm using it on a guitar. And that's the beauty of this, man. Just use your imagination. See what sounds nice. I'm loving that beginning. It's like using that telephone voice plug-in on Logic, but I created it myself just for this piece of the beginning of the instrument, which is going to sound super cool when I'm done with it. I'm going to take a piece of that beginning right about there, snip it, bounce into place, just that little piece. If you've watched my videos, you've seen me do this before. Add some effects just on that piece, delay, bring the wet all the way up, dry all the way down, reverb, smooth space along with the cave. Buttery, baby. So now that I have my effects on that one, I'm going to bounce it one more time. Look at the tail that was just created. Mm, look how long it is now, just off of the effects when you bounced it. Reverse them. Beautiful. Woo! I'm getting good at this. Let's put some Lander effects on it just to get a similar sound to that beginning. Electric baby. Something easy, something smooth. After taking everything and putting it together, and I think it sounds fantastic. So now that we have the sequence of the drums, I know I didn't finger drum it, but I don't have a drum set, and I wanted that authentic rock sound. So taking a bunch of samples, slicing them up, putting them in your custom sequence, I think would be fitting for this particular song. Let's put some lander on it. That sounds about right. Let's get another one. So we went with the hi-fi on the Lander acoustic setting at a 25%, and it made the drums sound super bright and as if they're in the same room with you, and I love that, especially for a rock piece like this. I'm stoked. If you can't tell, save your originals. You never know when you might need to change something midway. Maybe a little reverb on her. And guess what Lander has? Reverb. Everything's going on Lander today. Why not? Maybe some keys? Why not? There's an instrument I like to use. It is in Quick Sampler. It's called Something Human, and it sounds like this. I like it. Let's see if we can implement it into this part. Always got to double check to see if I hit the landing. Lander. I 
I think we got it. So now that I have most instruments, I want to stay true to a live sound and I want to add a bass. suck at guitar so now that we have the bass sound that we want blender wonderful pastel purple I think we're about done. I'm just going to continue to build the song now that we have all the sounds we need. Let's see if it hits. guys are too let me know down in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe what an amazing weekend the fights were great i got to come home and make some good tunes i got to experiment with my new plugins by lander the lander fx suite if you're in the market it was only 99 bucks for some pretty cool effects you saw what i did with them don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone don't be afraid to experiment with sound and express yourself within your music I appreciate you guys for stopping by on this episode of Building the Catalog. Again, I'm Rufio the Wolf. This is the Wolf Den. I'll catch you next time.